how are we all? I hope you're all well. Yes, I've had a haircut. Thanks for asking. I feel like it's the shortest it's ever been between haircuts for me. I think it was about eight weeks. That's crazy. I never get my haircut after eight weeks. There was a time at university that it was more like 12 months, which is really gross, but hey, poor student. I needed my money for food and space in K-Halls. Um, but yeah, I went and got it cut short. I feel like when your hair is a bit shorter, you notice that regrowth so much. It was getting to that point where it's kind of like here, it's getting a bit flicky outy at the ends, wasn't feeling it so much. So I was like, yeah, let's just go short and, and see what it's like. And actually, I quite like it especially with the hoops. And if you do want to know how I do this like curly wavy thing in my hair, I have shown you in a video before. It's so boring, so easy to do. All I do is use the GHD hair straighteners. I've never had much luck with tongs. They don't hold a curl in my super straight hair. I need something really hot. And then I've got the Orbe texturizing spray in it, which is just so good. I forgot how good and how far superior it is to anything else. Um, but I will link that video where I do that like mini hair tutorial up there. But anyway, on to today's video, which is the winter capture wardrobe haul that I've been promising you for a very, very long time. It was supposed to be up last week, and it got to Saturday, and I hadn't recorded the video yet, and then I kind of went down with a bit of Mark's man flu, and so you got my book vlog instead, which, oh my word, thank you so much for all of your lovely comments under that. Your comments are just so, so nice, and it was, I mean, I cried twice in that video. I don't normally do, like, crying in a YouTube video, but that was just, it was such an incredible experience to finally see my book, have my book. Mark's got a copy, I've just moved it off there, but he's got it on his bedside table. I've been sending it out to family and friends. Um, if you want to pre-order it, the link is always in the description box down below, but it's less than a month now. Oh, actually, I know what I was going to mention. What, one second, what was that? If you have pre-ordered a copy, wherever in the world you are, I have a little surprise for you, a little thank you. Um, it's a set of worksheets that I put together and the designer made look all nice to kind of go with the vibe of the book. It's an edited life worksheet PDF bundle and in it, it's got six different PDFs that relate to things that I mention in the book. And they kind of accompany the book in some way. Um, there's a short haul and hand luggage packing list. There's one for long as well. There's like a budget tracker in there, a fitness goal planner, a fitness routine planner. This is my favourite one, the um, weekly planner. Um, but you can get it if you just send proof of your purchase to this email address. I'll put it across the screen. And edited life at hardygrant.co.uk. You'll be sent an exclusive link to get yourself this planner pack today. Um, so you have it for the new year, you'll be ready to plan. I'll put all that information in the description box below, but all you need to do is send proof of purchase to that email and you'll get your link to download these. Um, if you haven't pre-ordered, do not worry, these will be available on my website from the 10th of January. There's like, if you scroll on my homepage, there's like a little bit, so it's coming soon. 10th of January, they will be there, um, but just a little thank you to everyone who has pre-ordered. I really, really appreciate it. On to the haul, and I'm so, so excited about this one. Um, with previous capture wardrobes, I often find myself going back to my bullet journal and seeing what I mentioned that I needed for the next year. Um, but winter, I feel kind of sorted, and when I look back at the list, I was like, yeah, I've kind of got all of those things which I'd predicted that I'd need for the following year. I think there was another pair of like animal print boots when I got those in uh, autumn, thanks to these, which I just absolutely adore. And um, I think there was a mention about jeans on there. Jeans is a bit of a work in progress. Um, so I kind of just went through my Instagram saved photos and looked at what the vibe was, if there was any items that kept coming up again and again and again, any colors, any silhouettes, any pieces. And there was, there was a general theme actually, and it was this colour. So I will mention this first. Um, this is from Under the Stories, it's a silk shirt. And normally I steer clear of any silk shirts that are in a colour because of um, sweat patches, which is a lovely thing to mention, but it's an issue, especially if you're a sweaty betty like me. So normally this kind of colour in a fabric that goes close to your armpits would make me very, very nervous. However, the Under the Story silk shirts are so fab because they've got quite a drop armpit in it. Like my actual armpit is up here. The actual armpit in the garment is a little bit lower. So if you do struggle with sweat patches, is, wow, this has really gone to a place. I feel like the Under the Story silk shirts are a really good shout. And like I said, when I went through my Instagram, I was just like, wow, this camel colour is in 
every single thing that I'm saving and I actually didn't have anything in my wardrobe in that shade. So there's a theme running through this haul as you will see. This is one of three pieces of this colour that I picked up but I've really enjoyed it. I feel like it kind of goes with my colouring quite well, goes with my hair quite well and I just feel, yeah, I feel like it's added a bit of something different to my capsule wardrobe. Very, very chuffed and other story silk shirts get a huge thumbs up from me. Apologies, the neighbours outside are having a little drilling party um, but this is the end of the stories silk shirt and I just think the collar is beautiful on it. It's a really lovely, soft, like slightly brushed satin. Um, it washes really well. I've done this on a um, the hand wash setting in the washing machine and it's been completely fine. Um, really decent length on the arm swell. Although I personally like them a little bit tucked up. Um, but yeah, I just think they're a really gorgeous fit. Um, I'll show you it tucked out in case you want to know the length. Bum cheek grazer length, I would say. So if you do want to wear it untucked, this is what it looks like. Personally, tuck it in. The other thing from Under the Stories was this turtleneck cashmere jumper. Again, I feel like Under the Stories does silk and cashmere really well because they're really high quality. I find they always wash really well. They fit really nicely. They feel really nice and soft. However, they aren't completely like, oh my word, your eyes pop out of your head expensive. They are very good. I don't want to say affordable because they're still really expensive, but they're just a very good value option. There you go. That's the word I was looking for. Um, I love a turtleneck despite having a double chin and a big face. I just don't care. I just really like to be warm. <laughs> And I feel like these leave you the perfect temperature because they're not like a huge roll neck that kind of gets in the way of anything else that you might be wearing, like a jacket or a coat or a scarf. And they're just like very slim on the neck and I like that. So I picked up this, yeah, there you go. I told you there really was a theme running through this haul. Um, I picked this up, I think in a small, FYI, it's huge. Oh no, it is a medium. It's very, very oversized. Personally, I like that. It's actually quite a thin fabric and it's quite nice to have a thinner cashmere that is oversized. A lot of my other cashmere is like quite close on the body, quite tight fitting. Um, so it's nice to get like a bit of, bit of a baggy fit, bit of an oversized fit out of a cashmere item, but I would say it is very, very oversized. So I probably could have got away with the small and I think it still would have been quite oversized on me. You'll see in the cutaway how it fits. The knitwear my wardrobe is very very neutral there's a lot of like black and cream and navy and gray one green um, and now it's nice to have a knitted piece in this color I absolutely adore this color because you know what it kind of is a neutral it fits in very well with like what I've got in here um, but it does you know it's not as boring as black so I've been getting so much wear out of this I love that this knit is oversized but thin because so many like oversized knits are really heavy and thick and chunky and then you can't really do the tuck in without getting like a bit of a kangaroo pouch vibe going on it's so comfortable and like I said the arms like look at that look at my fingers dangling out the arms are really nice and long it just feels kind of cozy if you go for this vibe it's like oh Look all cosy. On the neck, I personally wear it kind of all the way to the top. Yeah, that's right, right under the double chin. Um, but you can do like one fold down in it and have it as more of like a mini turtleneck. Personally, I go all the way up. I like to be cosy. It keeps me nice and warm. Like I said, for cashmere, it washes really well. I feel like they had this in a couple of other colours as well. I'll link it down below for you. I do have another item in this colour, but I'm going to break it up a little bit for you because I am so over the moon with this piece. This is... It's probably my second favourite piece from this haul because there is something that slightly trumps it because it's just so perfect and I absolutely love it. However, the story of this piece, um, I really want to start picking up more vintage items and secondhand items, you know, the whole sustainability thing, it's just a good thing to do instead of buying new all the time. And when we were in Copenhagen, we are just walking around, I've been to like a couple of the vintage stores, the vintage shops there are so, so, so good. They're really like edited and you just feel like you're getting the real the good shits you know we were walking down the road one day and I think I actually recorded this as part of the Copenhagen vlog that we did I will link that up there for you and there was a really cool vintage shop called Times Up Vintage and Mark was like oh that looks cool I was like can I go in I went in I had a field day it was like designer high-end vintage but really well priced like it wasn't completely breaking the bank it was expensive but it was good value let's use that word again I couldn't believe it I was literally trying on like items of old Chanel and Hermes and I just 
it was blowing my mind. I tried on a load of things, including like a big vintage um, leopard print coat, which was so nice, but just way too big for me, unfortunately. But this, this is from Celine from the 70s, and it's just a very simple black shirt. And I know, you know, yeah, okay, I've, I've got black shirts, but actually I think I've only got, oh no, I have got three. So this is the fourth, but I do wear them all the time and they're all like slightly different. Why am I trying to justify this? I love the collar on this. It actually has like a slight kind of print running through it, I think. Are they horses or something? I'm not 100% sure, but it said it was from the 70s. I was like, that is awesome. The cuffs on it are really tight, so you get a kind of balloon sleeve. It's just a little bit different. It's like that attention to detail you can 100% see. I couldn't be happier with it. Although I prefer that under the story shirt tucked, I actually prefer this one untucked. I feel like it ruins the shape a bit if you tuck it in, it gets a little bit scrunched up and I feel like this is kind of tapered slightly in on the waist which is just a really nice flattering fit. It is missing a button and I'm not sure I'm going to be able to find the exact same one. Um, I'll have a little look through my grandma's button collection. It's kind of big. If there's something similar, I'll pop it on. If not, I would just leave it as it is. I don't think it's a big deal. And if it flashes open, it's not like it's showing my belly button or anything. It's fine. Um, but it's just such a lovely, a really like delicately cut silk shirt actually compared to everything else I own. And like I said, you get a kind of balloon sleeve because um, the cuffs are really tight. So I don't even do like an elbow scrunch on this. And if you can see that detailing that runs through. It's really interesting, really different. Um, so chuffed with my first vintage piece in a very, very, very long time. Hopefully more to come. Okay, should we revisit the camel again? Let's revisit the camel. And um, this was something else that we picked up in Copenhagen. Um, it's from a brand called Norse Projects. They're like a really good brand. Um, Mark is super into them. He really loves, I think he loves their t-shirts and their jumpers. I think they're a Copenhagen brand. I'm pretty sure they were because they had like a really decent store. It was really beautiful inside and on one side had the men's wear on the other side the women's wear mark like went around and did his little thing and then came into the women's wear i was trying the whole shop on they had the most gorgeous gorgeous knitwear and i sort of said if i see anything vintage in copenhagen it's allowed if i see anything that i like from this norse project store especially if it's a chunky knit it's allowed i didn't go off piste i stuck with my two items and i am um, i mean look 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 at this. This is a slightly different kind of tone and colour to the And Other Stories one. This one is very much like a mustardy, Mac Sober kind of vibe. Like when I wear Mac Sober, I look very, very matchy indeed. Whereas this is definitely more of like a rusty autumn, much more like red in it. Um, I don't own anything in this colour and I've worn it so, so much. Um, the blend of different wools and different fibres in this leaves you so hot. Like whenever I wear this, I am sweating underneath. I am so, so hot. Um, so I do tend to wear it with a t-shirt underneath, but it's got quite like a high neck, so you can never really see the t-shirt. It's just so snuggly, so nice. Sometimes I feel like you need these practical things in your wardrobe, especially over the winter. It's bleeding cold. You want to be warm. This keeps me warm. Um, it's just that kind of oversized fit and um, it's not too long so it is really easy to tuck into trousers if I want to um, but I am so so chuffed. I have a feeling they ship worldwide. I'd really recommend taking a look on their store because they've got very good basics. Let me tell you, big shapeless jumpers don't come much better than this. It is so, so, so soft and I feel like things that are like this, it is kind of that slightly fluffy texture that um, you dread getting in your eyes, especially if you wear contact lenses. It's just hell. I feel like these types of textures can often be quite scratchy on the skin. This is so soft, like teddy bear soft, like people want to hug me when I wear this. That's how soft it is. It's just beautiful. I love the colour of it. I think it pairs really nicely with this kind of colour of denim. And yeah, it's become my go-to at the weekends when I just want to be comfy, I want to be warm. Yeah, I really, really, really love it. Okay, time for the one. This is my favourite item that perhaps I've even bought in the whole of 2018. You know me and leopard print. You know me and faux fur jackets. I have tried to find a faux fur coat that doesn't make me look like the Michelin man, that is long enough on the arms, that fits me, that's oversized but not too oversized, it's not small. <sighs> it's been a journey and I finally found it. I could not be happier. I'm 
pretty happy that leopard print is everywhere this season. Like, it really is everywhere. You can't go past the shop front without there being something leopard print in the window. I'm happy about it. This is my moment. I've waited like 10 years for this. And about a month ago, I just ordered like every leopard print coat. I was like, I'm just gonna order them all, try them all on, and, and one has to be perfect out of these. Um, I tried one from ASOS. I tried one from Alice and Olivia. That was a fortune. I tried one from J. Crew. Um, I tried one from All Saints. And then this one from Whistles arrived. And I was like, yeah, this is it. I found it. Um, I do have this in a small, um, and I'm probably like a size like 10 to 12. It is very oversized. But just look at it, guys. Just look at it. It's so perfect. It's the perfect length. It's not too short on the arm. It's not too oversized. Um, it wasn't the cheapest thing in the world, but you guys know this is going to be something that is in my wardrobe for many, many winters to come. It's exactly what I want. Um, I've already like worn it to a wedding. Um, I wear it out all the time, even if I'm like doing my post, doing a food shop, going out for dinner. It's such a versatile piece. It can be really dressed down or really dressed up. Um, and I'm just so, <laughs> I'm so happy with it. Can you tell? It took a while. It's basically taken me years to get here, but I have found my perfect leopard print coat. <sighs> <laughs> look at this and yes I'm wearing it with my snakeskin shoes why the hell not um, especially if you're wearing it with something quite plain underneath I really like that look um, this is just it's so 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 soft it does actually do up it's got these um, three like popping buttons there but personally you don't need to do it up it's so warm anyway and like I said it's not too short on the arm that's like impossible to find with these types of jackets um, and also I don't feel like it's too wide on the shoulders. Um, I just absolutely adore it. I've worn it so, so, so much. Easily my favorite thing of the whole haul. I mean, just look at it. It's so fun. <laughs> so that's everything, finally. I showed you, I'm so happy with what I bought. And like I said, although it didn't really fit with the pattern of previous hauls in terms of finding what I wanted, I feel like I've picked out amazing things that are just gonna be so easy to wear for like winters and winters and winters to come. I've worn everything an absolute ton. They've worked really well with what I've got already. And I actually feel just very chuffed with where my wardrobe is at right now. I can't see my spring haul being that massive. I feel like there's a couple of holes that need filling and I'd really like a pair of like big lace-up boots, you know, Holly Willoughby style. I'm really into that. I think that could look really cool and I don't own anything like that. And I'm going to Canada in February and everyone's telling me how cold it's going to be. And so I feel like that could be something to pick up. But I feel like, yeah, spring could be quite a small one because I'm just so happy with where things are at right now. Everything is getting used. I'm really loving the outfits that I'm putting together. Um, yeah, so let me know if there's any other style videos that you want me to do because I'm really, really hoping to get back up to two videos a week next year. So more style content coming your way. But thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon. Everything will be linked down below for you as always. Have a good week and I will see you next weekend with, oh my word, I can't wait for this one either. I made Lily a capsule maternity wardrobe. The video started at one hour, 11 minutes and I've only managed to get it down to 50 minutes so far and about half way through editing. It's gonna be long, it's funny, hopefully informative as well. So I will see you then, bye.